Most high school coaches go through ups and downs, but for one baseball coach in northern Colorado, there were simply far more ups than downs. In 45 seasons, his teams won an astonishing 807 games and only lost 162. And then just a few months ago, something completely unexpected. Tonight, Denver 7's Russell Haythorn has a story from his own hometown. In the small town of Eaton. I'd say it's pretty good around here. Just about everyone knows everyone. We came here, I think, in fifth, sixth grade is when I, when I started here. I knew where everybody in my class lived. I knew their parents, they knew me, and in some respects that was probably a good thing because they could you know, keep an eye on us and keep us out of trouble. And if a kid were ever late for dinner, the Sandlot would be a good spot to start looking. It's a good town for baseball. It was a happening in Eaton. Eaton, Colorado, home of the Fighting Reds, home of champions. Eaton was able to win 11 spring state championships, the most in state history, 23 consecutive final fours from 93 to 2015. And one man was in the dugout for every single one of them. He was a great coach. Frankly, he's an even better dad. A legend to be sure. He brought a tradition and a level of excellence that is unsurpassed in Colorado and uh, baseball sports history. What renowned coach Jim Danley built was a field of dreams around one simple secret to winning. Pitching, of course. The knuckle curve, which uh, every, I think everyone knows we threw that pitch. As it approaches the plate, it just dives hard and you can't pick it up. You, you think you see fastball and then it drops. If you are determined to learn it, you, you'll learn it. Then, this past February, life through Coach Danley, a curve and that is known as the Widowmaker Artery. When it goes down, it, people die. Well, some of the doctors assured me that I did in fact die. A massive heart attack while the 73-year-old was working out at the town rec center. Fortunately for that celebrated coach, two perceptive lifeguards were nearby, as well as a local police officer. The staff just jumped on it. They're there to save lives and um, they just reacted. The rec center and Flight for Life crews revived him just long enough to get him to North Colorado Medical Center, where Dr. Jason Hatch took it from there. And I saw James Danley on the list, and I thought, no, there's got to be, this can't be the same James Danley. The same James Danley that coached Dr. Hatch when he played ball for Eaton more than 25 years ago. I wake up in a strange place, and there's one of my players looking at me, and I'm I remember thinking, you know, what's happened? What, where on earth am I? And what is Jason doing here? But I'll never forget he had this smile on his face. I think he, he could kind of recognize and he was starting to process some things despite all that. Too strange to be believable, I would think. A comeback for an acclaimed coach who rarely worried about being down in the ninth inning. It's an absolute miracle. We're very thankful to God and to everybody that was a part of this. Saved my life. And that is perhaps the most important stat in Jim Danley's storied baseball career. I'll always be eternally grateful. In Eaton. He means a lot to this community. With photojournalist Sarah Bingham, Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.